Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Ma from HolisticVanity.com, also the author of Beauty, Pure and Simple. And today you're joining me in my favorite uh, room of the home, which is my bathroom, where I um, spend my time beautifying myself. Um, but this is a new bathroom and a new tub talk, and I'm uh, really excited to start it off with Dr. Emily Lipinski, who is featured on PeriodMakeover.com. And today we're going to be talking about hormones. Um, and specifically hypothyroidism because actually I had a client uh, somewhat recently who actually was kind of red flagged to having hypothyroidism through her skin. So she had really dry skin, a little bit of facial swelling, really brittle nails, um, and this all sort of prompted her to explore hypothyroidism and then she was diagnosed as well. Yes. So it was just a great story of how sometimes looking outside can also indicate what's happening inside. Absolutely, yeah. So I guess I just wanted to start off with like a really simple question, which is if you could explain to us what is hypothyroidism? Okay, so the thyroid gland is located in your neck. It's an endocrine organ, meaning it produces hormones. And hypothyroidism is when that organ, the thyroid, isn't producing enough important hormones, primarily T3 and T4, which are very important for the metabolism of all the cells in your body. So how do we know if you have hypothyroidism? Like you can have an inclination, I was talking about dry skin, um, but like how do we go beyond that to sort of like you know, have a more concrete diagnosis of what's going on? Yes, yeah, so other very common symptoms are weight gain, dry brittle nails, fatigue, uh, facial swelling, also swelling over your legs, pretibial -tib pre swelling it's called. And clinically, we look for a certain hormone in the blood known as TSH. So that's thyroid stimulating hormone. And what happens is when the thyroid gland isn't producing enough of its hormones, T3 and T4, the brain starts signaling the thyroid to produce more, to a thyroid stimulating hormone, and that hormone starts to go up when the thyroid isn't producing enough hormones. It's really trying, almost yelling at the thyroid, saying, hey, wake up, produce more hormones. Right, so there's this like feedback system. That's right, yeah. So I guess what can we do, um, what can we do about it from a natural perspective? So there's some supplements that are really beneficial for the thyroid, namely tyrosine, iodine, and selenium. But it's important to check first before supplementing supplementing for antibodies to the thyroid, hmm. namely TPO and TGAB. And this is because the most common cause of hypothyroidism in North America is actually autoimmune thyroiditis. So the, the body starts producing antibodies and attacks the thyroid. So although these supplements are really beneficial for the thyroid, iodine actually increases antibodies if you already have antibodies in your body attacking the thyroid. So just of the three, iodine would be one that you have to avoid? Unless you don't have antibodies and therefore right. it can be really beneficial. So anyone that has hypothyroidism is probably aware that iodine can be very beneficial for the thyroid gland and a lot of herbal supplements that are marketed for thyroid health have iodine in them, which is great for the thyroid, but again, really important to check for those antibodies. So again, like anything, we just have to make sure that it's really, like any protocol is tailored to the root cause of what's happening within your body. That's right. Yeah. Uh, well, that's fantastic. I did not know anything about um, the antibody uh, uh, piece. Yes. I always just think about like low thyroid hormone. Yeah. Um, well, if you think that you might have hypothyroidism, maybe your skin's feeling really dry and it's not being replenished by even the heaviest of products, um, and that's paired with the other symptoms that Dr. Lipinski had outlined, then you'll want to talk to your healthcare practitioner or check out periodmakeover.com and you can ask Dr. Lipinski any of your own questions as well.